In this video, we will be reviewing how to utilize customized reporting in the TIMS MVP 5.0 software. As you can see, I have a fees study pulled up here on my TIMS workstation. So I can go ahead and scrub through the video by dragging along the timeline here as shown. And let's say that there's something that I'm wanting to point out on this study. I can add in telestrations by opening my toolbar here on the right hand side, as you can see, and then selecting which tool that I'm wanting to use. So I'm going to go ahead and just add in an arrow. I'm going to change the color to blue. So let's say I'm just going to point out the arytenoids. I can easily do that and I can label them if I want or just leave this. And if I'm wanting to make them a little bit easier to see, I might change the width. Okay, and then if I want to take a snapshot of this to include my report, I can easily do so by clicking the camera icon and labeling it. And clicking OK. And now you can see that my snapshot is here. Another feature that we have discussed in a previous video is the ability to um, assess where swallows happened and I can turn this on by clicking the series tab and clicking detect swallows and as you might notice here along the timeline there are little gray lines appearing this is indicative of a swallow occurrence so this kind of helps make the editing and reviewing process a little bit faster for those who are recording the entirety of a fees study without stopping in between given trials so just wanted to quickly review that feature as well so after i have gone through and reviewed every aspect of the fees study that i'm wanting to assess and taken my snapshots as i have shown I'm going to go ahead and start scoring my study. So I can do so by clicking the score icon here. And this is going to open my scorecard. So I've already gone ahead and done some scoring, but just to review how to utilize this, you're going to click the drop down arrow and then you can select which scorecards you're wanting to utilize for your evaluation. So I went ahead and did the Yale and the digest fee. So you can easily see that by clicking these headers here and the results and then the Yale. So as I'm going through and editing and reviewing and analyzing my study, I can take notes pretty easily by clicking the notes icon here, which brings up a sticky note. So you can see that I already went ahead and typed in some notes about this hypothetical case here in my notes tab. So I can take notes and then when I exit out, it doesn't delete the note, it just removes it from view. So your work is saved. And I have created a customized report, which I'll show you here in a second, that automatically syncs my notes as shown and my scorecards and snapshots. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up so that you can see this. So to access reports, you're gonna click on the report icon here. And if you click the drop down arrow, it's going to give you a variety of selections. These are preset templates that we've put into the Tim software. However, you can create your own customized report based on your personal clinical practice or your team needs. So you can see that this is a template that's already started to be documented in. So my scorecards have automatically populated. I've got my digest fees here and my Yale. And then additionally, my analysis section has my notes from my sticky note that I just showed you. Additionally, the Tim software automatically pulled over my snapshot as well. So each of these sections has drop downs and opportunities to free text similar to many EMR systems that we all use in our clinical practice. Like I mentioned, this is a preset template that's available in the TIMS MVP software. However, you can also create your own customized reports based on your team needs. We hope this video was helpful. For more information, please reach out to us.